Hey, I just wanted to cover some uh, uh, an issue that's cropped up on YouTube. Um, I had uh, up previously uploaded two videos from quite some time ago, a few several years ago actually, that uh, a friend created, um, kind of a montage of uh, montage of photos and video of me picking uh, at one site and uh, another uh, montage of me picking at a different site and uh, they, the video was backed with music from a, uh, one of my uh, one of the bands I'm a fan of uh, uh, the Psychobilly band uh, The Farrell Brothers that's F-A-R-R-E-L-L -L. and uh, their website is thefarrellbrothers.com or Feral Bros, B R O S dot com. Um, anyway, so we used a the song Curb Stomp Boogie, which is an instrumental they did, which I, I happen to really like. <laughs> and uh, anyway, uh, we gave credit as well at the end of the video. And some company swooped in and laid claim to it. So I took the video down assuming it was the record company that they were with or a record company they were with that uh, laid claim to it. Now, I've since talked to um, Sean Farrell, one of the brothers, and uh, apparently they don't receive or haven't received a dime from online uh, sales, from downloads, from anything, from monetization, from anything else. So something is awry. Um, I think companies are laying claim to music that's not theirs to lay claim to and uh, trying to lay claim to the funds that um, are created by monetization. Um, in the case of the video, they laid claim to the monetization but didn't uh, knock it off or have it uh, banned or, or, down, or um, excluded from YouTube. So something's funny. Um, so what I'm doing is uh, re-uploading that video uh, and probably the other video and possibly one or two more. There's one uploaded right now. It's only a two-minute clip. Um, easy to watch. You can have it tuned on in the background even just for the tune. And, uh, yeah. Um, so I it may end up... Uh, um, tagged again by the this company and I'm going to fight tooth and nail with them to uh, leave it alone and see, we'll see what happens anyway um, I'm not impressed that as a consumer um, the money for downloads uh, are not going to the band there's even apparently a Farrell Brothers uh, station on Spotify um, and they're not receiving any monies from this either uh, and they're not responsible for that so I encourage you to buy their CDs rather than uh, download the music because they're not getting a, anything from it they're getting as it is they uh, um, musicians get a pittance for downloads so it's best to buy their CDs uh, or albums if they're they're publishing on uh, on vinyl so yeah, um, that's my little rant <laughs> about the situation. Um, I, Like I said, I encourage you to go to their website. I encourage you to seek out their CDs. I don't encourage downloading uh, music from these sites that aren't paying the bands um, themselves. Um, and especially uh, these companies that are laying claim to their music that... Uh, don't seem to have a connection to the band at all so anyway we'll see what's happening we'll see what company it was I, I don't remember now so when they lay claim to the video again if they do um, I've got a little extra uh, wording and such on my description saying who the band is and that I've got uh, permission to use the the uh, tune so uh, we'll see if they lay claim to it, and if they do, uh, I'm going to fight with them to fight and and uh, contact YouTube 
to tell them, you know, look, this is this company is not in any connection to the band once I, I find that out for sure. So, thanks for uh, listening and uh, watch the videos as they're they're being uploaded. Uh, like I said, they're old picks, but um, they're still of me picking a bit. Uh, nothing. Well, there's some cool stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a pick. Um, to me, everything seems ordinary. I suppose now, <laughs> just been it so long after 30 years. Um, finding cool stuff is kind of the norm. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I'll leave it at that for the moment, and uh, we'll add more to this video as well. All right, hang in there. So, within minutes of uploading, uh, the there was a copyright claim put on it um, by the Orchard Music on behalf of Trans Digital 66, whatever that means. So I've uh, contacted the uh, Sean Farrell of the Farrell Brothers to see uh, if there's any connection between them and these companies. So we'll see. Stay tuned for more drama. So I talked with Sean of uh, the Farrell Brothers and Apparently, the um, company that uh, distributes their album is the one that uh, seems to be blocking the uh, or doing the copyright. Um, so I don't know whether it's going to be a contract thing that uh, they didn't see or um, or what. So um, he's looking into it, and we'll see what uh, transpires after that. Um, whether we can uh, safely use the uh, music or not. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens, I guess. So, I guess the rest of this video will probably be maybe some unboxing. I've got uh, about four or five boxes ready to go. So, uh, stay tuned for that in a little bit. Okay, here we go for another unboxing. Stuff. Oh, this is a souvenir piece or advertising piece from Dauphin, Manitoba. Kind of a cool uh, scene of the hardware store there. It's cool. Advertising glass from Shea's Brewery in Winnipeg. Kind of a neat uh, advertising piece. Again. Right, the bottom of the dish. Butter dish. Here's the top. There's the top. It's from. It's a parade and clock tower Skegness. I assume we're talking Europe there. Souvenir piece from there. We've got an invalid feeder there. Double. Double spout on that one. A little different than most one. Most of them, most of them have a single spout. Now that's for feeding the invalid or the or feeding the uh, infirm or uh, sick. Right there. Waterford, I think, is what this is. Right there. Right there. I guess uh, hopefully the, the film froze up or the video froze up there. Hope it didn't affect it. But And this is, uh, yeah. Oh, it's not Waterford. It is Webb. Webb Corbett is what it is. Sorry about that. Let's see. Anything exciting next? 
another piece of the same stuff. And we've got a little folk art table, but it's broken, unfortunately. That was a cute little one, but the leg's broken off. Oh well. Got a Highcroft, Highcroft Alberta vase, souvenir Manitoba, Canada, made by Highcroft for uh, probably some souvenir company. Let's see. Got a call in this time. Oh, got a lamp base. Probably made by one of the uh, U.S. pottery companies, McCoy or Hall or somebody like that. Don't know. Oh, little advertising tray from Lethbridge, Alberta. Knox Church from Lethbridge. Anybody out there from Alberta that collects uh, souvenir? Dishes. That one. And here's from the Northland Motor Lodge, Rogers Pass, BC. Anybody from BC collect that stuff? We've got a little desk lamp, kind of a, uh, a mid century modern looking thing there. Looks like it needs some, uh, I don't know, doesn't need rewiring, it's just a string on Anyway, cool little lamp. Another souvenir wear piece, famous Okanagan Valley, a Soyos BC. Right there. And this one is the world's largest little church from Heller, Alberta. Right there. Some of this with the these different tags I bought from another year when she was having a uh, going out of business sale. City Hall, Toronto, right there. Nope. Got a stack of dishes here. High School, Orangeville, Canada, Orangeville, Ontario, I assume. There we go. I like all this sort of souvenir. Anyways, another one from Orangeville, it's a little different than the previous one, there, and another one from Orangeville, have a few of it. another one of the same, oh wait a sec, no, that's a different, that's from uh, Orangeville as well, St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church is where that one is of. And this one's another high school from Orangeville as well. Take to that box. Okay, this one's marked Inventory to Sort, June 2017. So I haven't been in this one since, uh, oh, what, a couple of years, three years almost. So here we go. <laughs> okay. Well, very timely, I guess. Disposable masks. <laughs> uh huh. I must have uh, been uh, clairvoyant or something, or uh, had ESP. Yeah. Okay. Almost too late for those, though. All right. Well, what boat? Anyway, and I got a bunch of fluorescent orange fabric I was going to use for a flag, I guess. 
I don't know what I'll do without it. It stinks. So. Garbage. There we go. Okay, what's this? Okay, that's a carving set of some kind. Right there. Stag handled carving set. Three piece. Wonder if it's got sterling ends on it. Doesn't look like it, but anyway. There we go. And got a little tin can armchair. Not cute. Sewing machine attachments. Singer uh, accessories. Looks like a whole whack of them there. Some singer needles and accessory bits. Oh, and a bunch of these. I was going to use these for a rat rod at one point. But uh, yeah, got a bunch of these. There's one, there's two. Got another piece for one of these on the table, I think. Two, three, four. Five. I don't know if you need six or five. How many do you need for top of a truck? Hmm. Anyway, so five of them. And we've got a couple scarves here. Kind of 70s, 60s scarves. Maybe 50s because they're kind of a bark cloth sort of material. Made no nylon, Kanibo. That's the other one made by. And there's kind of a neat uh, bird on it. Don't know what the maker of that one is. I'll have to price those individually. Uh, Westinghouse. Oh, there's. Nothing in here. Okay. It's just a box for transistor radio. Puss and Boots confectionery uh, ruler. I had oh a few hundred of those at one time. World War II American, I think, probably. Uh, gun belt. Right there. I think it's probably American. Let's see. Kodak movie aids. A table to match our uh, little chair there. There you go. All right, we're gonna put that. I'm running out of space here. Running out of space on the shelves, and then we got space on the table. Leather wallet. Oh, advertising James H. North property auctions every Tuesday. Glasgow, Dublin, and London. I said Glasgow first because my background's Scottish. So, anyway, there's that. Saflo's recipes. Oh boy. And we've got a uh, Kurt Mueller. Telescope. So, uh, hunting telescope for a rifle. 4x15, it says on it. Pelly Observer. Gateway to Saskatchewan. A newspaper from 1968 there. Anybody from the Pelly area? Oh boy. Steam's all over the place. This one's pretty rough, so it's probably gonna go in the garbage. It looks a bit. It's a Seagram's bag, but she's stained pretty bad. So, trash she goes. Hayes Haynes Guide to Nash, Yellowstone National Park. Probably be a good eBay item if it was in better shape. 
but oh well. And just a frame and some glass, which we don't really need. Oh, shucks. Northwest Orient uh, chopsticks, but they're broken. Still kind of cool. Junk lid to something that I don't have handy, obviously. A couple celluloid handled knives. That's both both of those are celluloid. One's got a grain that looks like ivory, but it's not. It's just uh, celluloid. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Kind of a fake fake green. Anyway, and, uh, a whole whack of razor blades. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I'm not in packages. So. And a little, a little stainless steel dish. Why do I own this? Oh, made in Denmark. So there's probably a lid for it kicking around somewhere. Another box, maybe. Sprite cap. Capitol Records, superb new hi-fi albums. Neat little piece there. Uh, teacup, uh, Worcest Worcester teacup. And one of these things. You know what they are? They're from uh, a vacuum coffee pot. So if you do a search for vacuum coffee pot on uh, Google, that's what it's from. Okay, the video shut down right at the end of that other box, so we'll just start up back in a new one. All right, piece of depression glass called Circle, made by Anchor Hawking in the 1930s, right there. 1970s pot holders, kind of funky, green. And Carter's ink it goes with a Carter's ink bottle, and I do have the little piece for it. And another tray, so that's good. A lens for a Ford. I don't know what Ford, probably a truck. A little, little pin tray of some kind. Canvas back duck ashtray. There. All right. What else we got? Here's an invalid feeder. That's usually kind of what they look like, or some of them look like, with one spout. Sugar shaker. This type uh, deals out a certain measured amount of sugar. I got a few of these out of the South Seas Cafe some time ago. I see there's an old price tag on it that shouldn't be on it. I won't take it off so I remember. Alright, and Stewart's Bluing. That's what those bottles are. Uh, slide rule. West clock's alarm clock. I think I got another one of those kicking around a box, almost identical. And a let's see here, darner. That's what that is for darning socks and uh, darning other sewing other uh, things. And this is just a box, or a, well, a container for, what is it, coffee, I guess. Coffee carafe full of bags. Some junk. License plate light off of, I don't know, <laughs> some car. 
one of a pair of shelf brackets. Not sure where the other one is. It's around somewhere here, I'm sure. One of a pair of salad tongs. I've got the other one sitting on the table. I'm not sure why they're in separate boxes, but they are. Very ugly wide tie. Very wide ugly tie. There, you need a wide, wide, wide tie. There. Uh, let's see, Swanky Swig. They sold jams and jellies and that sort of thing in these. And we've got O'Keefe's Beer Mirror. The uh, razor. Chick injector razor. Or button hook with a bone handle. Got kind of a crook to it there. A couple bicycle badges and looks fit. Yep. Road King. Right there. And an Eaton's glider. Right there. And we've got a federal mug advertising uh, farmers co-op seed plant right there and a milk cap. Those of you who need garters, there's a Burkdale garters for your socks. I don't think there's anything in it. Oh. In the bottom here. Um, clip on light there. I've got uh, several of these around at uh, Bride and Grooms. Belfast. Me. Jam jar, I guess. Junk, junk. I got a whole bunch of labels around. That was from Higginbotham's drugstore. Anything else exciting in here? Nothing exciting. Wipeout. Something for the box. Maybe. Shoe buckle with marker sights or beads on it, I guess. That is something else, maybe for the box. Pop for something. Okay, we're running out of interesting stuff. Also, it's just junk. Three tined wood ebony handled fork. There you go. Maybe out here. And the rest is just hardware and junk. It's not not even interesting hardware. So we're going to skip to the next box. I think. I think. I think. Yep. Next box. Okay. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this stuff, but. Uh, Let's just hang on and I'll clear this table off. Here we go again on another box. We have a Mountain Dew disposable bottle. Probably a good eBay item, I suppose. Shotgun shell loader with uh, moss on it, kind of funky, make kind of a neat ornament. There you go. And, uh, this is a video game playing console thing that uh, I had sold but apparently didn't get paid for. Oh, some art 
Deco Art Deco uh, glassware. Got a few of those back here. Another one. And cobalt blue. Probably a rare pattern or something, I suspect, but uh, should be four of them in here. Apparently. So we'll see. We've got four. That might be nice set. Advertising mug for Coates Somerset Cider. Some characters on the back. Neat little advertising mug. And some Hughes Cornflower. Right there. See the cut design is called Hughes Cornflower. I think. I think that's what that one is. Got an old tag on it. Anyway. And I don't know. I don't know what uh, could be uh, Homer Laughlin or something. I'm not sure. Anyway. And books. If you've seen units, price guides, price guides, price guides, to the book section, four books to go to the book section. Check the oil, that's a classic one there. Royal Dalton and transistor radios. Just a reminder, we have tons of reference guides available. So you might want to check that out. And that's it for the boxes for the moment. I'm gonna give uh gonna go grab another one, I think. Hang in there. Okay, this is more of a half box, but, but uh Torquinet Tor Tourniquet and forceps. Took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> Suter's Mobile Studio in an old um, motorhome. A bunch of photographs. And we've got Old Spice. Oh, we're missing the, missing the main bottle by the looks of it. And we have a printer's block of a um, fire nozzle, uh, sprinkler, I mean. Another photograph. That's a lid off an iced tea jug. Depression glass iced tea jug. That's the clear one. Piece of art pottery. Kind of a nice little candle holder there. Oh, the maker jolt. Pottery vase or uh, jardinier, I guess you could say. It's a little guy. And, uh, teapot from probably Medalta, but it's not marked. It just says made in Canada, so who knows? Could be Eastern as well. Deja vu, got another one. 
there. Got some miniatures. There's a salt and pepper probably from uh, McCoy or Hull. They tended to use that glaze. And some other miniatures. If you're into art pottery miniatures. From the ducky. And the shoe. Or a, uh, yeah, a shoe. What is it? A uh, uh, moccasin, uh, no, kind of an elf shirt, something like that. And a bag full of doll furniture. Whee! Well, this is cool. This is a lighter. That, uh, give you a second action there. Blink of an eye, it's open. There we go. Guadalajara Mexican uh, wallet. Any money? Money, 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 money. No. I suppose it might only be pesos anyway, right? There. And this is. Uh, Wine dot Stericlor, Wine dot Chemical Company. I assume it's for sterilizing something. A dye, maybe. Now we have a CPR Airlines glass. That's what that logo is. The uh, yeah, I forget what they. There's a nickname for that logo anyway. Don't remember it off the top of my head. And this is just a plate holder I made or picture holder I made out of a fork. Just uh, sits like that. So you can set a photo on it or something. There, seeing as it's. Yes, it's upside down, but that's how it works. There. Yep. Yep. Canadian Pacific Airlines. The other one was CN Airlines. That's what it was. CN Airlines? How is that CN? No, that's CP. That's this is CP though. Canadian Pacific with the the goose, I believe. Something like that. All right. It's late in the week and it's been a blah week. It's been raining. All the while, and uh, it's sunny now, but it should be outside during the weather. And I guess that's Northwest Airlines or Northwestern or no Northern Wrestling Association. I'm pretty sure it's Northwest Airlines. I don't see why uh, the Northern Wrestling Association would have their own glasses. Well, it's okay. A little tiny picture. Ain't that cute? Right there. Made by uh, Gibsons of England. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, and the plate. Highest bridge in the world, World Gorge, Colorado. Like Colorado stuff? There you go. Yeah, and that's made by uh, John Roth of England. Old English Staffordshire where this is back there. Anyway, that's it. All right, happy picking, safe picking. Take care. The next addition to the box is a match cover for Old Dutch Chips. If uh, you're Canadian, you remember these. Um, they're still in business, actually, but uh, this is a vintage 50s one. These were made in Winnipeg. Uh, in Western Canada, in particular, um, tend 
tends to be a cult favorite, or more than a cult favorite, actually. Um, and even has safety driving rules for some reason on the uh, cover there. And uh, you'll notice one of the rules is to um, to take, uh, what is it? Take frequent breaks and long trips and be sure to have a package of old Dutch potato chips. So I guess they still don't want you eating while you're driving, but that's uh, the distracted driving laws now. They won't, uh, they get after you for eating or drinking coffee or anything while you're driving now. But anyway, we got uh, got the match cover there. Kind of cool. 1950s vintage. And going in the box. So happy picking, safe picking. Take care.